Representatives of the North Korean army are already in Ukraine. This was stated on air by Ukrainian military observer Denis Popovich on Radio NV. There are already North Korean soldiers in Ukraine. At least there were. A couple of days ago, there was a report about the liquidation of six North Korean officers. The only question is the number and what function they perform. So far, it has been officially reported that they perform accompanying functions. They are engineers, technical specialists, he added. If we talk about a broader presence, then, according to the expert, in order to have a noticeable impact on military actions, the North Korea should send from 100 to 200,000 of its troops to Ukraine. However, in this case, problems with logistics may arise. The expert is convinced. The more, the greater the burden on logistics. And the logistics shoulder is huge. From the North Korea to Ukraine, 10,000 kilometers and the Russian Federation and the DPRK are connected by one railroad. It will be necessary to build more railroads, use sea communication. If the contingent is large, then it will require large supplies of ammunition, equipment, evacuation of the wounded, human reinforcements to replenish this contingent. Many logistical problems arise if they are going to transfer a large number of troops, Popovich explained. Recall the army forces of Ukraine eliminated more than 20 Russian military near Donetsk as well as six North Korean officers. According to media reports, they were hit by a missile strike from the armed forces of Ukraine. According to preliminary information, the North Koreans are undergoing training. Russians were sharing experience with them. The North Koreans are present when their shells are delivered to the front. I note that about 1.5 million of their munitions could have been supplied. The North Koreans are adopting the experience of using artillery by Russia in the war with Ukraine. The fact that the North Koreans are taking an active part in the fighting has not yet been confirmed. But the very fact that they could appear in the occupied territory and in the area of warfare already says that there is an active experience sharing. It cannot be ruled out that these groups are present there to study the situation on the ground before the possible dispatch of a larger contingent. It is the largest units closer to the front. At least six people were stabbed and wounded in northern Israel in what police say was a militant attack. Police said the assailant stabbed people in multiple locations in the northern city of Hadera on Wednesday before fleeing on a motorbike. The police say they later shot and neutralized him. They did not provide the name or nationality of the assailant. Five of the people who were attacked were in critical or severe condition, while the sixth was moderately wounded, according to the nearby Hillel Yaf Medical Center. Palestinians have carried out scores of stabbing, shooting and car ramming attacks against Israelis in recent years, and tensions have spiked over the war in Gaza. Palestinian officials say Israel's bombardment of central and northern Gaza has killed dozens of people and trapped thousands in their homes. The death toll in the year-long war in Gaza meanwhile passed 42,000. Gaza's health ministry said it recovered 40 bodies from Jabalia from Sunday until Tuesday, and another 14 from communities farther north. It said the toll is likely higher as there are bodies buried under the rubble and in areas that can't be accessed. The Israeli military spokesperson said that Israeli forces were operating in Jabalia to prevent Hamas from regrouping and had killed around 100 militants. The Israeli military said that 85 projectiles were launched from Lebanon toward northern Israel in a significant burst of fire Tuesday. The military said most of the projectiles were intercepted by Israel's aerial defense system. Israel's rescue service Megan David Adam said a 70-year-old woman was moderately wounded by shrapnel. 
Israeli media aired footage of what appeared to be minor damage caused to buildings near the coastal city of Haifa. The military also said that it struck Hezbollah targets in the Beirut suburb of Dahia, where the militant group has a strong presence.